Recently I did one of the most insane things that I've ever done and that was going for a sunrise hot air balloon ride over the Teotihuacan Wow, I actually got it first time Over the Teotihuacan pyramids just outside of Mexico City and today I want to tell you about that experience. So before I arrived in Mexico City, obviously as you do, you look up things to do in the place you're visiting. Then I went on Airbnb experiences, which isn't something that I've actually used a lot in the past. When scrolling through the experiences, the thing that really stood out to me was obviously going on a sunrise hot air balloon ride. Then fast forward to Sunday, which is the day I did it. As it was an experience during sunrise, it was a pretty early start. I woke up around 4.30 a.m. in the morning, which if you've seen some of my other recent videos, you know isn't too crazy for me. I then got picked up by a driver at just after 5 a.m. from my accommodation. My driver was called Jose Manuel and he was an absolute legend. I was about an hour drive to the pyramids. I was actually sharing the ride with a guy from Hawaii who was also a solo traveler. Uh, we chatted the whole journey to the pyramids, really nice guy. And then when we arrived at the location at roughly 6 a.m., you could already see the hot air balloons being set up, which definitely built up kind of the excitement for the experience we were about to do. We then got given coffees and some pastries as an early morning breakfast, and obviously had to do some paperwork where we kind of signed our lives away and said that if the hot air balloon blew up um, and we died, you know, it wasn't their fault, it was our fault. Standard stuff with this kind of adventure. While the balloons were being set up, we took lots of pictures. Jose Manuel took some cool ones, which he later sent to me, which was very nice of him. This kind of phase of the experience was very much just kind of anticipating what was about to happen and just getting excited. Then things started moving pretty quickly as the balloons were just about to be ready. We got quickly ushered into our balloon basket where there was about 10 other people. Everything happened very quickly. We kind of got in there and then immediately started kind of taking off, uh, waving goodbye to Jose Manuel, wondering whether we'll ever see the guy again. But you did leave the ground very quickly, so you didn't have too much time to kind of worry or think about things if you were anxious about the experience. As soon as we kind of got to some altitude, everyone in the basket just went absolutely silent. Depending on which way you were looking, one way you had the awesome sunrise, and the other way you had the Teotihuacan the Teotihuacan pyramids. You were also just surrounded by all the other balloons, which the sheer number of them also was incredibly impressive. The time in the air, I think, lasted around 90 minutes, maybe like between an hour and 90 minutes. Uh, it felt so much quicker though, it really felt like we were up in the air for no time at all. The balloon varied in elevation, so sometimes we went up quite high, which gave some like really impressive long distance views, and then other times we went pretty close down to the ground, uh, where we were quite near like people's houses and people's roofs, which uh, I kind of felt sorry for the locals, they obviously don't have much privacy with uh, all the tourists up in the balloons. The driver of the balloon also slowly rotated the balloon uh, and changed the angle you were at, meaning you could get a varied experience and varied photos and videos, which was, which was perfect. Then when it came to landing, which I think, like most people, was the bit I was most concerned about as I had heard and seen some horror stories uh, about kind of rough landings or it just not being the smoothest thing to do depending on the weather But our driver did the most incredible job and for me It was actually probably the most impressive part of the entire experience Obviously the views and everything were awesome, but just the technical skill of what the driver did he literally landed the basket of the balloon uh, with the help of some people on the ground into the back of a trailer that was attached to a car. If someone said that to me and I didn't have this video, I'd be like, nah, that's ridiculous, that sounds impossible. But yeah, he did that, uh, I was shocked. And then after he did that, we just simply stepped out of the basket, had a bit of wobbly feet once back on the ground, but then we were quickly greeted with uh, some sparkly alcohol, which looks kind of uh, like it would be sparkling wine, but I think it was actually more like sparkling cider or something. Obviously what we needed at 9 a.m. in the morning. So after having a drink of that, and also being greeted by some locals who wanted to sell some things, uh, and also a few cute little stray dogs, which I had to force myself 
to not touch because they were covered in fleas. We then got back in the car and headed back to where we first got in the balloon. There we had the option to either buy drone footage of the experience or some photos. Uh, the group I was in decided to buy the drone footage, however we didn't get the uh, photos. The photos to be honest weren't really that impressive but the drone footage was absolutely awesome as you've seen uh, throughout this video. I also sneakily decided to turn that drone footage into an Instagram reel and a TikTok. So if you want to see those, then I'll link them both in the description. Some of the other things we did once the balloon ride was over was a VR experience where we were given a guided tour in VR of the local area with a voiceover explaining the history of the area, which was very interesting and a bit random sitting in a field on the outskirts of Mexico City with a VR headset on. There was also the option to have a food buffet, uh, which I did do because, um, yeah, at kind of 10 a.m., having been awake for over five hours, I was extremely hungry. And then me and the other guy who was in the original lift from Mexico City, we got Jose Manuel to give us a lift to the pyramids, which we took a walk around and saw them up close, which was very interesting. That's very cool. <laughs> How would they feel solar for the look at the sun? Look at the sun. Really? Look at the sun? Yeah, look at the sun. Wow, that is, that is cool. And then headed back into the car and got a lift back to Mexico City. And I was dropped back off at my accommodation before it was even midday. So how much did this experience cost? Well, through Airbnb, there was like an initial, uh, I guess, like deposit or initial fee to pay. Uh, in pounds, that was about £15.60, I think, which equates to roughly $18. But unfortunately, the entire experience doesn't cost just $18. So once you arrive at the center where you initially get the balloon, there is the main fee to pay, which is 2,950 Mexican pesos, which at the time of recording is £128 or $148. But obviously, conversions do fluctuate. And then the optional extras. I think the food buffet was around 100 pesos, which is roughly £4.30 or $5. The parking slash entrance to go around the pyramids, uh, that was 80 pesos, which is about £3.50 or $4. And then the drone footage we bought, I'm not 100% sure how much it was because one of the other members of the group I was in uh, very kindly actually bought the footage and then just sent us the files via email. But I think it was around 500 or 600 pesos, which is roughly 22 pounds or $25. So although that's probably one of the more expensive experiences you can do in Mexico City, uh, for me, it was definitely the best thing I did during my time there. And probably one of the best things uh, I've done, maybe ever, uh, definitely within this trip. So I couldn't recommend it anymore and uh, yeah. Let me know if you do go and try it. But that's everything from me today. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Follow me on social media at Jack Jenkins YT, and I'll see you in the next one.